Hello everyone, this is Abdul Hamid with Luna Studios back again with another awesome tutorial. Today I've got this animation for you guys that gives off really soothing vibes. At least for me it does. I got the idea for this animation from a motion graphics reel I saw on YouTube. So let's jump into After Effects and create this. I am in Adobe After Effects and I'm going to create standard 1080p composition with 60 frames per second. You can do 24 or 30 frames, doesn't matter. Right click on the timeline and create a dark solid and I'm gonna name it background. After this, go to layer and create a new solid layer. I'm gonna choose a yellowish like color because I want my letter to have a yellow color. So whatever color you want your letter to have, just choose that color. Now select the text tool and write the letter you want to animate. Then select pan behind tool and press and hold control key then drag the anchor point to the center. Go to window tab and enable align tool if it's already not enabled. On the right side use align tool to align the letter to the center of the composition. Now change the font to something simpler. Do the align thing again. So after this rescale the yellow layer to something that is only limited to your letter. I'm gonna name this layer M solid. Keep the M layer selected and double click on rectangle tool to create mask. Now select the pen tool and add few more points to the mask. Add one point to each corner just like this. Then add one between each corners like this. So these points between corners will be used for animation. Now go to the mask properties. Go one second ahead and create a keyframe for the mask path. After this, go 40 frames ahead and drag one of the middle points like this so it matches with the letter. Again go 40 frames ahead and do the same thing for another midpoint. Repeat until you get your complete letter. Now select all keyframes, right click, go to frame assistant and choose easy ease. Let's go to the graph editor to make it smoother. So now it's time to create those uh, small dots and bursts. Create a new shape layer and name it dot. In dot layer add an ellipse and then a fill to it. Let's hide the M text layer. Change dot's opacity and size for now so we can move and see it better. We'll uh, decrease the size and increase the opacity later. So you have to manually animate this dot layer to the mask movement. So I don't think I know a way that you can do it automatically or parent it to something. Uh, all I know right now is you can do it manually. Create a keyframe for the position and then follow the corner frame by frame just like this. Thank you. 
After you are done with the position, increase the opacity of the dot and scale it down to an actual dot. Now go to its content, fill and change its color. Animate its scale like at first it's zero but the, as the animation starts the dot grows then at the end of the animation make the scale go to zero again. Now create another shape layer, name it dot2, repeat this process two more times depending on the letter of your choice. In letter K uh, that I showed you in the start of the video, I had to use uh, four dots. So in this case, the letter M, I have to use uh, three dots. So now we are done with the dots, now let's create a simple bubble burst that takes place at the end of each dot. So for that I'm gonna create a new composition 500 by 500. In this composition create a new shape layer, add an ellipse and then stroke to the shape layer. Go to transform and change the scale to zero. Create a keyframe for the scale. Now let's go 40 frames ahead. Increase the scale that it covers the whole composition like this. Now go to the stroke and on first frame make it 30. Make a keyframe and go 40 frames ahead and change the stroke value to zero. Select the last two keyframes and change them to easy ease. I'm gonna use graph editor again to smooth it out. So let's trim the composition to the actual animation. Now come back to mcomp drag the burst layer. Scale it down and place it over the dot and time it perfectly. Repeat it for two more dots. And here we are, it's done. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and you have learned something from it. So this is the end of the video. You all know what to do. Subscribe, thumbs up and press the bell icon so you can get notification about my latest videos. You can drop your request for tutorials down in the comment box. So that's it. See you all in the next video. Thank you.